I would say boron steel is definitely a foundational technology for us. With traditional forging materials, there's just certain design limitations. You can only go so thin on the face. You can only distribute mass in a certain way because of that. Uh, quite simply, we needed a stronger material. Boron is actually a very fascinating, complex, frustrating element. It's a very potent additive. In steel, you're talking about 0.0003% at the max. That's about three parts per million. But even in trace amounts, it provides that beneficial high strength throughout its cross section. So this here is roughly two and a half grams of boron which is enough boron to make about 500 golf clubs. The first club we ever hit made out of boron was actually an MP62 that was made a number of years ago, just as an experiment to make sure that the feel was there. We did a lot of testing around the feel of the golf club. From there, we created first prototypes of an actual 1025 boron club. We hit test that, measuring with TrackMan ball speeds, looking at distance, robotic testing, durability testing. I mean, we're, we're pretty confident in our simulation capability, but you know, ultimately we've got to fire up the air cannon and shoot 3,000 balls at the head and make sure that it doesn't break. So we had some that broke. You know, you start at the extreme and then dial it back and you start to learn exactly what that added strength does and how you can benefit the most from it. We're actually now able to go off in different directions with this material. On the JPX Easy Forge, not only is the face thinner, so it's gonna rebound more, more ball speed, greater distance, we've now saved quite a bit of weight. So now we're taking that weight and we're redistributing it to the rest of the head. More weight and a low back, that helps with the launch. We can also push more weight out to the perimeter. Off-center hits go straighter, fly longer. So it's a forged iron that virtually anybody could play. Forging with boron is one of those things that the more we do it, the more we can learn and the more we can push the boundaries of it. So we're really at the infancy in terms of what we can do with boron. Traditionally, you either had you know, more of a traditional forge design, muscle back, shallow cavity, and then over here you had more high-tech, thin face, higher MOI designs. Um, not anymore. I mean, at the end of the day, boron steel uh, gives us the design flexibility to make a higher performing iron with the same great one-piece grain flow forge feel. I don't know a lot about boron, if I'm honest. I genuinely don't know. Um, I'll just hit the shots and if they, if they go long and straight, I'm happy with that.